Hi, I'm Andy Parker, and I hope you enjoyed this week's movie from Parables. Here at Daystar, we're passionate about finding new and exciting ways to inspire people and share the gospel. So coming into your home each and every week with a faith-based film is something we're thrilled about, but something we don't often get a chance to share is what it takes to make films like the one we saw tonight. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes and get you up close and personal with your favorite actors, directors, and producers in a segment I like to call Faith in Film. We'll sit down with the biggest names in the industry to get the inside cinematic scoop from the sacrifices made and what it took to make such a film to why they do what they do. This week we set out to talk to the stars about what it means to be a Christian in today's Hollywood. It's weird in Hollywood. I don't understand this whole Christian bashing thing. I mean, I don't get what's going on where you've got the majority of people in this country do believe in God, and yet it's getting banned everywhere. But you can talk about other religions and for political correctness. It drives me insane. I don't quite understand the logic behind it. I'm still trying to figure that out. What's gone, gone wrong with the thinking here? I think we're all led to believe, you know, that you know, self-success is, is important, whereas, you know, I think self-sacrifice is even more. I always yes. say that even as actors, your gift is a ministry because your gift is really prophesying to humanity, mm -hmm. just about people and their, their life's experience. It, it's, it's, it's about random kindness. It's about just, it's about trying to be a better person. And, uh, and I, I think that's valid. We all can behave ourselves pretty well when, right. when it's a sunny day and things are going well sure. and our bellies are full. But when things get difficult and our feet are to the fire, how do, how do we? How do we carry You on? know, how do we carry ourselves? I just think we, all we can do every day is strive to be better. Yeah. Do you know? And that's, that's all you can do is, yeah. is give your heart over to God. And yeah. When hope. you put God first, then, then that's your role model right there. As a Christian who wants to make a living as an actor, you have to be very, very careful about the kinds of roles that you choose. Sometimes I've had Christians come to my school and they say, well, just because I'm a Christian, you know, I feel like I don't want to play no character that's doing this or doing that. But it's like, first of all, everybody before Jesus, okay, and even after they encountered him, made mistakes and had mm -hmm. a certain mm -hmm. life. So it's not about us showing like this perfect person, but you got to see life before that encounter with God, after that encounter with God during because we know in our humanity we make mistakes we got to pick ourselves up mm -hmm. we got to stay focused on the prize we got to forget those things which are behind we got to change we got to grow we got to learn to love and live the life that God has for us to live. Well, I'm a Christian I believe in Jesus I believe in God and I, I want to do some I want to do more movies like this but I'm also an actor so I like to wear different hats I do I mean I still love my craft I'm not I'm not going to say no to every role. There are certain roles I probably would not be comfortable doing. It's not about going to church. It's more of a, a, a more of a reliance on a higher power, and, and and I need that, and I need I need God in my life because it's you know I think college is, is a time to where you don't know which direction you're going to go. You have big decisions to make. I can't do it on my own. My motto in life, I guess, is to just go through life doing whatever the Lord puts in front of me to do, and it has varied enormously since I've given my life to Him to deal with. The great adventure. It's a wonderful adventure. It gets better all the time. What's more glamorous than a movie star? I'd say it's any star that shines with the light of our Savior. These actors may make it look easy, but theirs is no easy job. The rejection, the public scrutiny, all that pressure from the world around them. That's why I'd encourage you to support them in prayer and in the box office. We send a message to Hollywood with every movie ticket we buy. And when we support trash, they make more trash. When we support Christian actors and family-friendly movies, we get more of the good stuff. Stay encouraged as we work together to keep faith in film.